Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, what's up? So sorry, I've been a little bit MIA lately. I don't know if anybody's even noticed. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you totally should follow me on Instagram. That is where I am the most active and I'm posting daily. And um, I just hit 10K actually, which is super exciting and it happened very quickly and I'm just so grateful and so thankful. So if you guys are following me on Instagram, hey. I've been getting some requests for a diet and exercise routine type of video explaining my full what I eat and what I work out, how I work out. I did just do a what I eat in a day uh, a couple weeks ago. I'll have that linked up here. So when it comes to diet, I don't really know how I feel about that term. When I hear diet, I kind of think uh, a temporary restricted food regimen and um, I kind of steer away from the term diet and I just kind of say it's part of my just lifestyle overall. How I eat now is how I've been eating for a very long time. My first rule of thumb is that I do not I repeat, I do not cut anything out, nothing. 85, 90% of my diet is healthy and clean, but that other 10%. Now the good thing is, is when you eat clean, you don't, nor for the most part, you just don't naturally crave those bad things anymore. Your body kind of adapts to eating healthy. I, I have a large high fat intake with high protein. The reason being is because high fat intake, high natural fat intake, I should say, is um, a great way to naturally burn fat. High protein, obviously, because I do lift weights and I want to tone up and I need my muscles to just kind of like grow up in here. High fat, high protein, then come the carbs. And when I say carbs, I mean not white carbs, except for rice. I do eat white rice. And that's because it's on my sushi. I'm not against white flour, I'm really not. Um, but I just prefer to eat um, carbs that just can be easily burned and are just better overall fuel for your body. So complex carbs, they're the way to go. Whole grain bread. Brown rice is another one that I eat. I eat a lot of brown rice crackers. I actually have them right here. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. If you like a food, you can always find a healthier version of it. So that's what I do. James and I did make a um, flatbread pizza. We bought a thin, thin multigrain like flatbread crust and we added feta cheese, some pesto sauce and um, grape tomatoes diced up and it was phenomenal. And it still gave you that satisfaction of pizza, but minus the calories. For protein, I eat mainly turkey, lean turkey meat. I eat that as a turkey burger. I eat it as like chopped turkey, as a like healthy Mexican bowl. Oh uh, God, turkey, you can do anything with turkey. I've just recently been getting back into chicken, eating like grilled chicken over greens, like salads and stuff. I don't eat any salad dressings anymore. I just kind of do olive oil with a little bit of pink Himalayan salt and it is so, Good. I realized that I don't even need those dressings at all. We eat a lot of salmon, uh, some tilapia, and a lot of shrimp. Shrimp is loaded with that lean protein. Oh my God. And then when it comes to sugars, I just eat natural sugars like fruit. I eat oranges a lot, strawberries. I love blueberries. Those are my favorite. At night, when I have a sweet tooth, I do eat like a frozen mashed up banana with some uh, natural dark chocolate on top and it satisfies my sweet tooth because I am a ice cream lover. Like you don't even know. I think that covers basically what my diet is looking like. I don't eat fast food at all. That's once in a blue moon I will eat fast food and it's when I'm just feeling, I'm just feeling shysty and I'm just like trying to just live life on the edge that day. <laughs> then I will just, I'll go to town um, with some Taco Bell, for real. And if there's something that I love, like say sour cream, I love that on everything, I will just buy a light version of that and eat it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care. As long as you are incorporating the healthy things that your body really needs, adding a little bit of like 
things that you enjoy, some sweets here and there in moderation is not gonna kill you. And most of all, just do what feels right and comfortable for you. If there's something you wanna work on, if you wanna start eating better in general, start slow, don't overdo it, and do not go into it cold turkey because <laughs> you will more than likely bounce back fast. My rule of thumb is to eat smaller portions throughout the day rather than large portions uh, seldomly. Do you know what I mean? Little story I'm gonna tell you guys. Uh, when I lived in California, I lived there for about a year and a half. During that time, I was in a really awkward part of my life where I just wanted to be. I was obsessed with getting thin, like skinny. I did it in an unhealthy way where I kind of cut out calories completely. I was running on a palm full of oatmeal in the morning and peas, literally peas for the rest of the day, nothing else. And at the time I worked as a waitress part-time and I remember going to work having just eight peas and I would try to lift a tray and I could barely lift it. It was horrible. Bloated so bad that everything was skinny but I had this just pouch coming from my belly and I didn't understand why. But the truth is, is when you put your body into such a shock like I did, going cold turkey, like cutting everything out, your body freaks out. It goes into survival mode. If you're somebody who's wondering why you're not losing weight when you go cold turkey, it's because your body's in survival mode. It's literally holding on to whatever it can so that you don't die. That's what happened to me. Um, so I learned from that, okay? Start slow, eat a little better, your body will thank you and your mind, everything. Okay, so now let's talk exercise. Exercise is something something that should be near and dear to you, okay? It is not a one size fits all, just like diet isn't. Um, so you really do have to just kind of find your groove. Some weeks I'm just simply not as motivated as other weeks and that's perfectly normal. I don't go to the gym every single day. Probably go, I would say, it really ranges. It could be as little as four times a week or it could be as much as six days a week. It depends on the week. I'm not strict with myself. If I'm sore one day or it's a snow day and I'm feeling like I don't wanna move, I'm not, I'm not gonna move. I do try to do a variety of workouts. I do my yoga and my stretches daily because girl, if I don't, uh, I don't really have like a split routine. And for those of you who don't know, a split routine is kind of just like how you break up your workouts throughout the week, like lower body one day. I do mix it up from day to day, but I don't have like a strict split routine. I work out what I feel like working out for that day, um, what my body wants to work out, because there's days where I will do certain exercises that's just lower body focused, but it just so happened that the barbell I was carrying um, made my upper back super sore. So I'm not gonna sit here and work that part of my back. So I just, I, I kind of take exercise like by the day, I'll see how I feel the next day. I do a lot of compound workouts um, that involve a lot of different muscles at the same time. So yeah, there's definitely times where I'm like sore in places that I didn't necessarily work out specifically, but because I was doing compound workouts, they're now sore. So I can't, I'm not gonna sit here and, and, and try to work something out just because it's that day of the week and I'm supposed to do that part of my body, like, no. But basically, I will go to the gym, I go for maybe an hour to an hour and a half is usually how long I go. Um, that's my comfort, that's me. I do a about a 15 minute warm up. My favorite is just straight up heavy incline on a treadmill, that's it. And girl, it gets sweaty, believe it. I don't really like cardio, I'm gonna be real with you. Cardio and me are just, we're not enemies or anything, but like, I would probably say the ratio is it like 85% weights and 15% cardio or probably 10% cardio and 90% weights. Yeah, I would say that. The only type of cardio I do, I don't run. 
you won't catch me running <laughs> girl unless it's from something real scary i like to walk a lot outside so if it's a nice day you will catch me walking all over the place but in the summer my cardio is a lot better because i will maybe lightly jog around a track Okay, so I'm feeling a little shysty. I do like to incorporate some cardio, not only for cardiovascular benefits, obviously, um, but I do it because if I don't incorporate some kind of cardio throughout the day, my head feels foggy, even if I did just do a half hour, hour of weight training. Like my, my head will not feel right until I get that like 10 to 15 minutes of cardio in. Am I the only one that feels that way? And I do feel like since I've been solely just focusing on weights. I feel like my natural womanly curves are getting a little curvier, if you know what I mean. If you're looking to tone up, you want to gain muscle. You want that booty. This is just my advice. You do not have to take it. Do what's comfortable for you as always. But um, if you are somebody who's like, girl, I, I want to start, you know, toning up a little bit, definitely start lifting some weights. Start slow. Only do what you're comfortable with. If I'm feeling like, oh my God, I will break my back with this weight. I'm not gonna do it. Sorry, it's not worth it to me. But um, I am always pushing myself to just naturally get better. If you're just strictly looking to lose fat, like you only want to lose fat, you really don't care about muscle gain at all, then cardio is your answer. I'm gonna wrap this up by saying that I live by listening to my body. You have to do what's right for you. Always strive to be better. Never get discouraged. Just keep on going, baby. This is a health and fitness journey. Do your thing, feel comfortable, and feel happy and enjoy it. Enjoy it, girlfriend. Okay. Look, everybody's body's different. You are going to be the only person who knows your body best. So uh, you best listen to your body, baby girl. Listen up. So yeah, that was it. That was my um, overall diet and exercise routine regimen. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you do have any questions about what I talked about or you want to know something in particular, something that I didn't touch upon, Definitely comment down below and I will answer that for you, baby. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys. Mwah.